What's up guys? It's Chris with Kako Outdoors here doing a fly tying pattern demonstration with you and I'll be showing you the taco truck. We want to start our thread just behind the eye. Go ahead and wrap that to the bend. Trim off your tag. And I'll go back to the front, back again. Go about halfway. And then you want to add some 0.03, sorry, 0.025 lead. And we want it about halfway, about right there. We're going to wrap that on. This is going to help get all that rabbit fur down under the surface. All right. Then we're going to add the three millimeter glass rattles from hairline. Item number is RAT3. We're going to set that on top just like so and tie that in. I'm going to go back over the lead get that tied in nice all right then get some thread right behind the rattle going in next the hairline rabbit strip in purple the number on this one is rs7 and pull out a little section and we want the end piece so that is going to be the section down here where you've got the natural end and the fibers hanging over that's the one we want and to measure out the length of the material that you need for this you want it to be the length of the hook plus another half okay you're going to split these hairs moisten your fingers that'll help get it divided so you've got the length of the hook plus maybe half or double you know and you're going to tie that in right here at where the rattle ends at the back of the hook and I do about three or four wraps on that material wrap your thread back up towards the front I don't know if you... zap a gap it's the one with the brush. It is the medium CA plus. Coat your threads on the rattle. Coat your threads on the lead. All right. We're going to take this rabbit strip and we're going to wrap it. And as we wrap, we want to pull the fur back towards the bend in the hook and you're just going to spiral wrap it oh, sorry hit the camera and lay it in that zap a gap wrap it 
up to the front of that lead and stop. And that's where you're going to tie it off at. That Zappa Gap will help you hold that in place as you get a few wraps in. Three or four will do it, and then you can cut this strip. Bring this back. And then I want to wrap back on this. And this is how we're going to build the head. So give yourself, I don't know, about a quarter inch or so. Alright. This is where we're going to tie in the rubber legs. Simulate that lateral line on the fish. So I'm going to use white on this one because that's what I have laying here. But you can use any color you want. Um, it's just going to create a little bit of flash and some movement in the water. So I take two and I'm going to double them up by wrapping it around the thread like so and what that'll do is allow me to place those right where I want them by having them wrapped around the, the thread like that those tied in nicely grab another two Same thing, except on the other side. Wrap them in there. All right. And we'll come back and trim those to be the length of the tail or so. When we get done all right we're gonna add some craft fur I like the extra select craft fur from hairline XCF 298 on this color the purple I got a little section already prepared just going to cut off a clump and we want it to be the same length as the, the fly to the tail we're going to tie it in right here the head so do a little pinch wrap secure that clump and then take this end and lift it straight up and cut it as close as you can and that'll get you a nice close cut and it'll angle the feather or the feathers the fur craft fur down so you can tie it in nicely all right now on the bottom i'm going to do some white of the same craft fur this is the xcf 377 we're going to put this on the bottom, same thing, same length as the tail, get your clump, I'm going to get my thread wrapped back here, pinch wrap, get you a few wraps on it, and then lift it up. Trim it off. Okay. At this point, we're going to go ahead and throw the whip finish on there. And you, once on this is going to be more than sufficient because we're going to put Zappa Gap on this thread when we put the uh, 
fish mask on here. Okay, so fish mask number six from Fish Skull. Zap a gap on the threads. Get a nice coating on there. Pull that out of the way. Slide your fish mask on there. Make sure that it goes all the way past the eye of the hook there. And it'll sit in nicely. Leaving your eye exposed. Okay. Now these fish masks the way they work on the numbering, number six is for number two hook up to one aught. And they use the same size I as the hook number. So if you have a number six fish mask, use a six millimeter living eyes. I like the ice and the fire. Those are the two colors I like, but they have like four or five colors, I think. So they have little pockets on either side of the mask that allow you to put the eyes in there. So what I do, you know, this, the adhesive on the eyes is pretty good, but I like to use a little, little zap a gap to make sure it's not going to come off. So stick that eye right there in the pocket. So, let's get this other side. Zap a gap. And there we go. Go ahead and come back and trim these rubber legs. I like to make them about a half inch shorter than the tail. All right here. And there you go, guys. Once this sucker gets wet, it's got a great profile of a bait fish pattern. And uh, it's a very productive one for a predatory fish. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed this pattern, and I uh, look forward to seeing you guys out on the water. Thanks for watching.